Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaka Amano and I'm an etiquette and lifestyle educator. Today we're going to be talking about glassware for your home. Because of my job, a lot of people tend to ask me questions about table manners, about um, dining etiquette, dishware, glassware, cutlery, about what is appropriate, what is not appropriate, what is essential, what is not essential. You get the gist, right? So today I wanted to make this video just focusing on glassware and I'm going to show you some glassware. I don't have all the types of glassware that they are on the surface of the earth, of course, but I'm just going to show you from what I have what is essential, what is not essential. I believe that I have all the essentials that I need as a homeowner to entertain guests and to use with my family. So from my collection, I'm just going to introduce each type of glassware to you and then discuss what their uses are. So if you'd like to know more about glassware, then keep on watching this video. Now there are two types of glasses. They are glasses that have stems and they are glasses that don't have stems. Glasses that have stems are called stemware. It's a collective name for them because there's more variety when it comes to those type of glasses. In this video, we're going to be discussing glassware not as stemware and non-stemware, but as essential glassware and non-essential glassware. Essential glassware being the glasses that you need in your home in order to entertain properly the non-essentials being the nice-to-haves, the ones that, you know, of course your home is not a bar, so you're not expected to have all the type of glasses in the world, but, you know, if you own a proper bar or even a mini bar, it's nice to have some, you know, some of these non-essentials just because you want to be extra. And of course, it gives a nice touch to your presentation. The first class that we're going to be looking at is a stemware. Stemwares are made up of four parts the rim, the bowl, the stem, and the base, okay? Now, this is a red wine glass. Of course, this is a really large red wine glass. You don't have to get an absolutely large red wine glass. I have, you know, regular sized red wine glasses. But if you can, it's nice to get a large one because it adds a bit of a touch of class to your glassware. Now, red wine glasses are largely characterized by the nature of their bowls, which are more rounded. This allows for the proper amount of air to get into your red wine as it sits in the glass in order to give it a more enhanced flavor, okay? This is called aeration. The rim of the red wine glass is also slightly tapered. That means the bowl is rounded, but as it gets to the rim, it tapers just slightly. The second glass that we'll be looking at is also a stemware, and this is a white wine glass. A white wine glass is characterized by the nature of its bowl. The bowl of the white wine glass is different, very much different from that of the red wine glass. It starts off really narrow, and then it expands as it gets to the middle. The middle is where the bulk of the bowl is in the white wine glass. And after the middle, as it gets to the rim, it tapers again. Now, these shapes are because different types of wine, different types of drinks require different amounts of air in order to aerate, okay? So this is why the white wine glass is shaped this way and the red wine glass is shaped differently as well. The third glass that we'll be looking at is a champagne flute. There are two different types of glasses that you can have champagne in. The first is the flute, the second is a coupe. Unfortunately, I don't have a coupe, and coupes are more old-fashioned, so you would find that the flutes are more popular than the coupes. Now, a champagne flute is called a flute because of the shape of it. The bowl of the flute is generally narrow, so it's narrow all through from the base of the bowl all the way to the rim, okay? Now, champagne flutes can be used for regular champagne, which is sparkling white wine made in the region of France called Champagne. It can also be used for other sparkling white wine that is made in other parts of 
the world because in the world that we live in today even sparkling wine made in south africa is called champagne so there isn't that strict regulation anymore so as long as the wine is white and sparkling or even rosé and sparkling as long as it's sparkling you can serve in the champagne flute the fourth essential glass that we'll be looking at is a highball glass a highball glass also known as a tumbler is a type of glass where used to serve long cocktails now of course there are other types of cocktail glasses around the world depending on the type of cocktail but in your home since you're not a bar you're forgiven and you can serve any type of iced cocktail you want to make in your home in a highball glass the last essential glass that we'll be looking at is the double old-fashioned this is called double old-fashioned this is the crystallized version I don't know if you can see but this is what it looks like it's called a double because it is used to serve double shots of liquor okay there is a different type of glass called the brandy glass which is traditionally a stemware used to serve brandy it's a stemware that looks like a more rounded doubled old-fashioned with a tiny very tiny stem okay that is traditionally used to serve brandy but again, because your home is not a bar, at home you can serve brandy in a double old fashioned. With that, we've come to the end of the essential glasswares that you need in your home. Now for the non-essentials, the first glass that we're going to be looking at is a stemware. And guess what? It's actually for water. <laughs> so this is a water goblet. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see. A water goblet is just a regular stemware. The bowl of the water goblet starts off slightly narrow and just widens as it gets all the way to the rim. The rim of the water goblet is not tapered. This is because, you know, there's no regulation for the amount of air that should get into your water. Of course, in the comfort of your home, you can serve water even from the highball glass. But when you're entertaining formally in your home, it is best to use the water goblet. Also, the water goblet is not used to serve iced water. It can be used to serve cool water or room temperature water, but not iced water. The second non-essential glass that we're going to be looking at is also a stemware, and this is a martini glass. I love the martini glass. There's just something about a martini glass that makes me feel all fancy and grown. I don't know what it is. But as you can see, a martini glass is very different from all the other stemwares that we've been seeing. For one thing, the rim is very wide. And then the bowl is really not bowl-like. The bowl is really short and it starts to widen right from the base of it. So it widens from the base of the bowl up until the rim and it's really short okay the martini glass is used to serve martini of all types it can also be used to serve margarita only in your home okay only in your home that is because a margarita glass is kind of similar to the martini glass but the bowl of a margarita glass is definitely different from that of a martini glass so in your home only in your home can you be allowed to use a martini glass to serve a margarita? The third glass that we'll be looking at in the non-essential category is the sherry glass or the port glass. This is a very tiny, very miniature glass. It is used to serve fortified wine, which is dessert wine. There are different types of dessert wines and one of them is port. So this is called either a port glass or a sherry glass. There are other types of glasses used to serve dessert wine, but if you have a sherry glass or a port glass, it's fine. You could also use this tiny glass to serve some type of dessert liquor. It doesn't have to be just dessert wine. It could be used to serve dessert liquor as well. Dessert liquor is generally liquor that is sweet, just like the dessert wine is generally wine that is fortified and extremely sweet. The last glass that we'll be looking at in the non-essentials category is the shot glass. The shot glass is, like the name implies, used to drink a shot. So if you're doing shots at home of tequila with your friends, 
you know, whatever other type of um, spirits or liquor that you are going for. It's better to go with a proper type of glass, which is a shot glass. But of course, if you don't have this, since it's not essential, you can always do your shots from whatever type of glasses that you want to. But it's nice to have a shot glass just for this fun game nights or a night in with the family and friends and stuff like that. So yeah, that is what a shot glass is used for. With that, we come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy this type of videos, please let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you would like to see next. If you like to see different types of cutlery, if you like to see different types of dishware, just mention in the comment section because this helps me know what type of content you guys want to see around etiquette and lifestyle in general. I'll be really happy to hear from you. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you can always be informed when I have a new video up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye ladies.